Well, this morning we have a brand new story in our Changemakers series. These are local folks who are breaking barriers and making connections that help bring our community together. And Lee Hedgeman certainly knows how Portlanders like to bond. It's over suds, spirits, and sweets. She's a brewer, a distiller, and a beekeeper. She broke into the male-dominated craft beer industry and became the first African-American woman to brew commercially here in Portland. Now she's helping other women and people of color follow in her footsteps. The weirder the honey, the better. And I ran across some poison oak honey. I didn't even know that existed. Beekeeper Lee Hedgeman keeps her hives on Slavi Island, and she creates her crazy concoctions at her business, The Barreled Bee. I mostly like to think of myself as a matchmaker. The match comes from the marriage of flavors. She ages locally sourced honey up to eight months in barrels from local wineries and distilleries. She's super excited about what she's working on right now. I, I put buckwheat honey in a rum barrel. It's very pungent, very barnyardy, very earthy. All those things that I'm reminded of when I drink rum. Lee says she gets about 400 bottles of honey from each 350 pound barrel. The ratio of alcohol that's left in there is usually is less than 1%. So you will not get a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. All joking aside, this change maker is serious about conservation and buying local. Really getting people to understand like where food is coming from, that has always been really, really important to me because honey is a snapshot of a place in time, where the bees are, what they were harvesting, what was growing there. Hedgeman is a connoisseur, and not just of honey. She's a distiller making spirits for a local company. She's also a craft brewer, the first African-American woman in Portland to do that commercially. She admits she's experienced some subtle sexism, but not from the brewers. It's typically customers doing the mansplaining. There's always that kind of caveat of, well, that's, you know, you're really good, but maybe you could do this or but this. And, oh, it can be frustrating. But I think that there's also a very really um, clear way to address it and not alienate somebody because I don't think all the time that people are aware of what they do or say and how that comes off. Hedgeman is also ready for the day when she's not the first or the only. She's working to pave the way for other women and people of color to break into these industries. If you don't see it, you don't know. If all we see are people who don't look like us, we don't think there's any place for us at the table. Representation is super important. It's why I continue to do all the things that I do. Well said. And just to solidify Lee's reputation as a change maker, she also worked as a college professor teaching classes in women's studies at PSU. You can learn more about her study, or her story rather, and her yummy, yummy honey products if you go to our website, kgw.com. We have a link to her website. And if you know a change maker who should be part of our series, tell us about them. You can text us at 503-226-5088 and we'll connect.